wishing a lovely and warm morning to one and all present here. Today, we all have gathered on this virtual seminar for an awareness campaign organized by Little Flask Public Senior Secondary School regarding the dangers of tobacco on the occasion of World No Tobacco Day observed all around the world every year on the 31st of May. The member states of the World Health Organization created World No Tobacco Day in 1987 to draw global attention to the tobacco epidemic and the preventable death and disease it causes. So today, I, Srishti Goyal, am here with my friends Charu, Rinda, Shrey, Hardik, and Srishti. And through today's webinar, we hope to sensitize fellow students regarding the use of tobacco, addiction, and its after effects. So Charu, will you please go ahead and tell us all about what tobacco exactly is? Yes, I will read. Tobacco is a plant with leaves that have high levels of the addictive chemical nicotine. Tobacco is a plant with leaves that have high levels of the addictive chemical nicotine. After harvesting, tobacco leaves are cured, aged, the processed in various ways. The resulting products may be smoked in cigarettes, cigars, and pipes, applied to the gums as dipping and chewing tobacco, or inhaled as snuff. Cured tobacco leaves and the products made from them contain many cancer-causing chemicals, and tobacco use and exposure to secondhand tobacco smoke have been strongly linked to many types of cancer and other diseases. The scientific name of the most common tobacco plant is Nicotiana tabacum. Now, Brinda will tell us about how tobacco is linked with adolescence. Definitely, Charu. Cigarette smoking during childhood and adolescence causes significant health problems among young people, including an increase in the number and severity of respiratory illnesses, decreased physical fitness, and potential effects on lung growth and function. Most importantly, this is when an addiction to smoking takes hold, often lasting into and sometimes throughout adulthood. Among adults who have ever smoked daily, 87% had tried their first cigarette by the time they were 18 years of age and 95% had by age 21. Now, you must be wondering, why do teens try tobacco? Why? Teens try tobacco for the following purposes. To relieve boredom, to feel good, to forget their troubles and relax, satisfy their curiosity, ease their pain, feel grown up, show their independence, or belong to a specific group. Now, we will discuss some key facts about tobacco use among Teenagers and children. Every day, almost 2,500 children under 18 years of age try their first cigarette, and more than 400 of them will become new, regular daily smokers. Half of them will ultimately die from their habit. People who start smoking at an early age are more likely to develop a severe addiction to nicotine than those who start at a later age of adolescence who have smoked at least 100 cigarettes in their lifetime, most of them report that they would like to quit but are not able to do so. If current tobacco use patterns persist an estimated 5.6 million of today's youth under age 18 eventually will die prematurely from a smoking-related disease. Now, Shri, will you please tell us about the very significant role that society plays in terms of tobacco use among adolescents? Sure. The perception among youth that it is cool or progressive to smoke, use tobacco, is also in a way a major cause for youth to start these habits. Television, movies, newspapers, internet also help to promote this perception. Other factors that have been seen to be associated with tobacco abuse among adolescents are unstable or unsupportive family structures and peer pressure. The addictive potential of tobacco pull the user into a vicious circle leading to their regular abuse from which he or she may not be able to get out. 
in absence of any guidance or counseling the person gets addicted and becomes dependent on its use now my friend hardik will tell you about the effect of tobacco on our health the immediate adverse effects of tobacco are manifested in the form of reckless behavior and violence excessive doses of tobacco may lead to coma or death due to respiratory failure heart failure and cerebral hemorrhage the most common warning signs of tobacco abuse among youth include drop in academic performance lack of interest in personal hygiene depression aggressive and deteriorating relationships with family and friends loss of interest in hobbies change in sleep and eating habits etc it also includes some chronic uh, chronic use of tobacco damages nervous system and liver known as cirrhosis tobacco is one of the leading causes of cancer in developing countries due to its easy availability and cheap price tobacco also has very serious effects on human body like breathing problems chronic respiratory conditions heart diseases diabetes dental problems hearing loss vision loss and so much more It may seem common for young people to experiment with different substances like vaping, weed, tobacco, molly and alcohol. Some may even consider hard drugs such as cocaine, meth or opioids like heroin. Regardless of the substance, if it's not prescribed by a doctor and taken as prescribed, experimenting with substances can have negative effects. Meet Jeremiah. Jeremiah hangs out with his friends on the weekends. They drink alcohol and occasionally smoke marijuana to relax and get away from the stresses of life and school. One time at a party, Jeremiah smoked something a girl handed to him, not knowing what it was. Later, he found out that it was K2, a synthetic type of weed. His friends told him that he was hilarious and started acting crazy, and that they couldn't wait to party with him again. Jeremiah was concerned because he has no memory of what happened. He wants to be with his friends and have a good time, but he hated not remembering and doesn't want to take another substance like that again. He also feels new pressure to be the life of the party and act a certain way. What happened to Jeremiah is all too common. You start out taking one substance and end up taking something else. A danger in using any substance that isn't prescribed to you is not knowing exactly what it is you're taking and how it will impact you. Unfortunately, Young people are being exposed to substances that can have dangerous physical and mental health consequences. As a good rule of thumb, if a drug isn't prescribed to you, you shouldn't take it. Pretty quickly, what feels like casual or experimental substance use can turn into a substance use problem, which has long-lasting and negative consequences. Before you decide to use a substance, know the risks and potential consequences or reach out to a counselor to talk about it. We know about the harms caused by tobacco. Let's talk about prevention. The age-old adage of prevention is better than cure holds true here also. It is also true that habits such as smoking, taking tobacco, are more likely to be taken up at a young age or during adolescence. Hence, it is best to identify the situations that may push an adolescent towards the use of tobacco and to take remedial measures well in time. In this regard, the parents and the teachers have a special responsibility. parenting that commences with combines with high levels of nurturing and consistent discipline has been associated with a lower risk of substance some other ways to prevent tobacco addiction are to avoid undue peer pressure every child has his or her own choice and personality which should be respected and nurtured a child should not be pushed unduly to combat perform beyond their threshold limits education and counseling educating and counseling them to face problems and stresses and to accept disappointments and failures as a part of life it would also be worthwhile to channelize the child's energy into healthy pursuits like sports reading music yoga and other extracurricular activities seeking help from parents and peers help from parents and peers should be sought immediately so that they can guide appropriately 
Help may even be sought from close and trusted friends. Besides getting proper advice to sort out their problems, this would help the young to vent their feelings of anxiety and guilt. Looking for danger signs. Alert parents and teachers need to look for and identify the danger signs discussed above. Even friends, if they find someone using tobacco, should not hesitate to bring this to the notice of parents or teachers in the best interest of the person concerned. Appropriate measures would then be required to diagnose the malady and the underlying causes. This would help in initiating proper remedial steps or treatment. Now, Srishti, will you please tell us about tobacco and the non-communicable diseases caused by it? Of course. Most of the tobacco-related deaths and AS loss to disability are due to these non-communicable diseases. In case of tracheal, bronchus, lung cancer, for instance, tobacco stands as an underlying cause of death in nearly 90% of the cases. Not only tobacco use causes personal problems, but it also hinders the development of a country. Tobacco use hinders development and worsens poverty. Yes, tobacco use is increasing in many low to middle income countries. Addiction to tobacco causes poor families to spend more on tobacco and less on food, healthcare, and education. As you can see, the yellow and the gray lines represent the stats of tobacco use amongst middle schoolers, and the blue and the red lines show the stats of tobacco use amongst high schoolers. It is evident from the graph that the increase in tobacco use among high schoolers is, significant, is significantly higher than that of middle schoolers. Hence, we can conclude from this graph that adolescents are much more vulnerable to being exposed to the use of tobacco. Did you know which in India has more cigarette consumption? It's Kolkata. With a person in Kolkata on an average more cigarettes per day, the city has recorded the highest cigarette consumption in India. A survey conducted by the International Institute of Population Science and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare revealed that 56.6% of people in Kolkata smoke, the highest rate in the country.